This limestone cottage, which is located in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, was the birthplace of John McCrae, the author of the Remembrance Day poem in Flanders Fields. He wrote the poem in May 1915 during the Second Battle of Ypres. As you can see, uh, there was a memorial service here in uh, for Remembrance Day uh, very recently uh, because the uh, wreaths and the poppies are uh, still here. And I'll just go up and uh, for those of you who haven't heard the full rendition of In Flanders Fields, I'll go up and uh, just uh, photograph it and read it for you. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived felt dawn saw sunsets glow loved and were loved and now we lie in Flanders fields take up our quarrel with the foe to you from falling hands we throw the torch be yours to hold it high ye break faith with us who die we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields John McCrae This is a uh, typical uh, a uniform that would have been worn by uh, John McCrae. Uh, it's typical of the Canadian Army Medical Corps uh, uniforms used about 1918. It's uh, John McCrae's Boer War mess kit from uh, about 1900. The interesting thing here is all these items fit inside of each other so that uh, this went into here, this went into here, this went inside here and this of course flipped around and tightened to hold the entire match together. Picture of John McCrae from the uh, Boer War about 1900. John McCrae on his horse bonfire taken around 1917. A picture of uh, John McCrae and his horse bonfire and at the bottom is a picture of his dog uh, Bono. Taken December of 1917. The rendition uh, by this artist of John McCrae. 